Uh, and yeah, mommy make a video. Hey everybody, it's me again. In this video, I basically want to talk more about the grace and the faith, okay? People always think, oh, it's the faith and the grace in the mind, okay? And then the heart, okay? The mind is indefinite, the heart. But it doesn't always mean the heart, if that makes sense, okay? What I was talking about is the fallen angels. They believe in the mind. They believe that God is real, that... They believe in the Bible. They believe everything. They know the truth, but they don't believe it in their heart, okay? So the mind doesn't necessarily mean the heart, okay? So that's why the Bible talks about the circumcision by heart, okay? People say they have faith. They say they believe, trust. They put some trust in there. All the word down, down generate in the mind, okay? But it doesn't generate from the heart, okay? Let me tell you. Uh, Alyssa, be quiet. I was talking about faith being the work, grace being the blood, okay? Blood which represent repentance onto sin, okay? Um, to master is to overcome. God said, whoever overcome shall sit with me, okay? So by saying it's free, I'm making video, go check out my channel. It's not free, okay? I was making the only time it's free if you accept Jesus the first time around on your dead bed, like the robbery on the cross. He accept Jesus which is the blood, which is the grace. In the last minute, for the first time, he was saved because he has, has no more time to do the works, okay? But if you're alive and living, you have to do the work, okay? The work is the faith. So um, if you read the, the story of um, back in the days when Jesus lived, when people did sin, they did a burnt offering, sacrifice for their sin. They had to do a payment. That was a payment. When Jesus came, he was ultimate um, sacrifice, okay? Um, uh, the payment he gives you only if you repent and overcome, okay? He gives you the blood as you acknowledge your sin to overcome it, okay? The whole mission here is that you overcome sin. So, here what divides the wise and foolish, okay? The ten virgins. Obviously, if you have if you haven't followed my channel, I make video, 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 uh, what God and the Holy Spirit teach me. Remember, this gift is from the Holy Spirit. I don't generate this gift, okay? One of the gifts is no uh, uh, um, knowledge and wisdom, okay? In 1 Corinthians, okay? Check out my channel. And so, uh, the wise and foolish virgin, all of them have a Holy Spirit, okay? They're tapped in, okay? I was talking about chicken eggs and being the sperm. Represent the Holy Spirit conceiving the egg, and we're all chicken eggs, less, you know, um, and then, um, the egg having the sperm and develop through, you know, and then the cracking out the shell is the rapture, the new, new incorruptible body. There's a stage of development that Christian go through, and, you know, in scenario, real life eggs, that they, because of sin, it corrupts the eggs and it makes them, uh, uh be aborted, okay? Uh, bacteria, which is sin, make the egg stop progressing, okay? So, the thing about um, the grace here, okay? Grace, I was talking about grace being more important than blood. The difference between the wise and foolish, both of them have works, okay? Which is the faith, which is the work. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, faith without work is dead. Everything manifests. Even the, the grace, okay? There's a, the fruit, the fruit of the faith, and there's a fruit of repentance. You read in Matthew where the disciples say, show your fruit of repentance, okay? So these Pharisees had the works, okay? They had the works, uh, but they didn't have the fruit of repentance. And God is looking, the difference between the wise and foolish is the, the wise one had the fruit of repentance, the overcoming of the flesh and the blood. Okay, that's pretty much it. While the foolish only had faith, Remember, they, and I'll uh, check out my video. I was talking about the foolish uh, virgin, which uh, the, the parable, I know you not, these men said, have we not prophesied in your name, done many wonderful works? That's a gift of the Holy Spirit. They once repented. They, uh, they, uh, they were conceived with the Holy Spirit. They died because why? They did not continue over, overcome sin. Okay? They did not continue to repent and importantly overcome sin they can repent with their mouth all they want but if they don't see the fruit of repentance the fruit of repentance okay in matthew where god was telling to these pharisees sadducees 
is the overcoming of sin, is to put a stop of iniquity, okay? A, a stop to lawlessness. That is to become sober, okay? So it shows all these men that didn't overcome their sin, and God's the judge. He's going to judge you of, of what you've overcome, okay? Of the flesh and the blood, but the grace being more important than the, the you know, grace through faith, okay? Grace, I was talking about the blood being more important than the, the flesh, but both is needed, right? Both we had to overcome, but what gets you in the heaven was the blood, which is the grace, which is the repentance and overcoming things you shouldn't be doing. Where the faith was things you should be doing, you know, like the works, the step of faith, things you should be doing. Grace is things which is sin, which is the blood, the things you shouldn't be doing, which is sin. To master is to overcome. That's the difference in the wise and foolish. They both have works. They both have the step of faith. They are conceived. Okay. The foolish perish because of unrepentant sin, overcoming sin. They can repent, but if their heart is not faced on God and looking for God for solution to overcome their sin, they, they that's bacteria. That's cancer. Sin is cancer. Bacteria, it kills the egg. It kills the process. Okay. Of the maturing of the Christian walk, okay? So let me tell you, this is one thing I get caught up, okay? People are repeating lies from pastors and things on, on YouTube, but they never go to God and talk to God, okay? And they keep saying that, oh, it's free. It's not free, you guys. It's not free, okay? Eternal life. When God says, give up all your rich, pick up the cross, it ain't free. Think about it. The step of faith, that, that cost me everything. Everything, you know, I had a, um, you know, God was teaching me how to crucify the flesh. Uh, putting the stop to what corrupts you. You know, money, um, anything else in between, you know, sin. And, um, you know, God said, wherever your heart is, uh, you, if your money is with God, that, that's your riches. Where your, your rich is at, that's where your heart belongs. If you're all your, if you, all your ness is, you know, so... You know, God is so sure, you know, because we don't do a burnt offering, the very thing he requires of us is to give up all that we have. Not just money, boyfriend, jobs, you know, things, clothes, makeup, you name it, everything, right? And, you know, God was telling me to even give up pants and stuff, you know? So I, I, I crucify myself, putting God desire for myself. I always pray, you know, let me love the things you love and hate the things you hate, you know, because sin is not hateable. Let's put it that way. So we got to uh, pray in a way that we have the same mi mindset like Christ. Okay. I'm telling you, stop repeating, um, saying it's free. Okay. God dying on the cross. Okay. And doing all this is setting a sample for you. Okay. He, he's like, pick up the cross and follow me. He's like, I've already done it. Now you got to do it. Okay. Means, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, yeah, I, I am showing you the way to life. Okay. My, the, the ways I teach is life. You got to pick up your own cross as in you got to do these things too. Okay. And it's not free. I, I did not do all this to cover for you, but I'm doing this as a sample for you so you can have eternal life. If you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. God didn't, before I, I realized I was repeating a lot of what the pastors and these YouTubers. Remember, wolf in sheep's clothing, unless you go to the Holy Spirit, you're going to get deceived. Because why? Um, if you tell people it's free. Uh, that mindset is the once saved, always saved. Okay? In security, insurance. Okay? And, um, and, um, you know, there's there's such things as uh, one way, you know, the car insurance. There's one way and two ways. Okay? Um, so, um, what I'm trying to say is... Um, it's it's not it's not security. It's not once saved, always saved. Okay, um. So that's why you uh. It's like an everyday. You gotta learn. You gotta like grow. Okay. Um. You gotta learn and you gotta grow in Christ. Okay. It's not, it's not free. You guys check out my video. I was making point on point scripture, and this is not me that's coming up with this. Okay. Okay. Um. People think oh God died on the cross and I don't have, to, don't have to do anything. You know. There's a fruit of uh faith which is work. And then this fruit of repentance, okay, is to turn. Master is to overcome, okay? In Revelation, it talks about they repented not, they repented not. People can say they believe all day and have faith all day. If they, in their life, can't testify that they've, they can see themselves overcoming or, or you know, whatever, they, they're dead. They're, they're, they're good as dead, okay? So that's why um, I, I, I saw lots of testimony 
of all these nuns, pastors, and everybody. They said, Lord, Lord, have we not served? And blah, 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 blah. Okay? That's, that's religion. They think they do all their good works. Uh, even these believers, okay? Let me tell you, these believers was conceived. It even goes as far as talking about these believer Christian being conceived and not making it because of what? Sin, okay? All religion is basically saying, oh, you do more good works, you go to heaven. But God is different. God is about a sin. God is about turning from your wicked ways, okay? That's what brings life. Because a world with no laws, rules, and system, and regulation, it will deplode. That's tribulation, okay? Corruption, destruction, okay? Collapse, okay? A world with no judge system will deplode, okay? So on the day that God judges you, you can't be like, telling you all the good works that is supposed to be in silent god says you know that's your job you know lest anybody boast mean um you know what what god teach your right hand don't let your left hand know basically don't boast don't even you know think as that is any way shape or form that gets you in it's through the blood grace repentance to overcome to be victorious okay i always pay to be victorious is the stop to iniquity, to be sober, okay? That's the difference between the wise and foolish, okay? Is one, understand that is the grace, which is the blood to be overcoming sin. And the other one, think it's about the works, okay? Uh, the other one has both, okay? Not just works, but the repentance, okay? that's that only That's the only thing that separates the wise and foolish is how they portray... Uh, sin and, and um you know they they just got one or the other that's why uh, that's why i was telling you and teaching in my uh video if it's not the whole truth which is the blood and the flesh it is not the truth at all so the one saved always saved only teaches uh about the faith and they don't really teach about the grace which is the overcoming of sin okay so that's why like i tell you i put scripture that shows both you need the blood and the flesh to be saved, not just one or the other, okay? So it shows that you need the blood and the flesh, but the fl um, uh, the blood be more important, right? So that divides what the wise and the foolish, okay? So please, don't tell people it's free because you're passing on a lie. If you think, oh, accepting God is just to accept and it's free, most people are going to accept God thinking it's free thinking it's security right and then they they they're like they are a considered lukewarm because you don't teach them the the part of the grace which overcome they are going to find themselves the foolish virgin i know you lot this is what the devil wants to do because if you are atheist your punishment is worse than a uh a christian being so your punishment if you are a lukewarm christian that guy will say i know you lot not that's what the the pastors are preaching the devil want you to have the com highest capacity of judgment uh then uh you know, basically, if you're an uh, atheist, your punishment would be worse than a Christian that's lukewarm, that is once saved, always saved. Does that make sense? For me to have super, a lot of supernaturals and to fall away, I get worse than a, a regular Christian. Let's put it that way. Just like the, the angel, they see the supernatural. They see God. They see everything. And they fall away. They, they have no repentance, okay? So God is very serious with sin, okay? Let me tell you. In the days of Jesus, okay, when you do sin, you are put into death. Certain sin are put into death. That's how serious God is because people are so lenient because it's free and all that. And they preach. That's why sin is going out rampage. It's going rampage. That's why God has to clean it like the days of Noah, okay? Like the days of not Lot. It's, it's because sin is not being zipped up in the blood. I mean, zipped up in, um, in, in the butt. It go rampage, just like how God was explaining to me a, a new batch of rice, and I, I throw the old batch of rice in there. It contaminate the whole the whole dang rice. So God said you gotta keep it separate, and I keep doing this over and over. And God was teaching me the new covenant, and the old covenant. You gotta keep it separate, right? And so um, God was telling me I can't mix it together. I can't have corruption in in the new batch uh, batch of rice. Okay, it has to be eaten separately. It gotta be deal separately or something like that. Which is uh the wise and um um the new covenant and the old covenant and basically the uh, uh Jews and Gentiles is what it is it, it the the ways it teach can't be mixed in together because there there's it's, it's too 
a new that's why it talks about the wine. You can't put this or else it explode or whatever. That's basically the same concept what God was teaching me. You can't put the uh the Jews which represent the old kind of covenant and we are the new covenant, right? The the new ways of doing things through Jesus. We can't mix it together. It has to be separate. Okay? So um while the works, okay, you know, this is all intertwined with the circumcision of my heart. Um uh, the Jews, you know, go check out that video. I really don't want to have to repeat this. But um, back then, it, it was, you know, when you do uh, a sin, you had to do a burnt offering. You had to uh, give up some kind of money to buy the animal to do the sacrifice, which cost you for sin. You know, like if you sin, you go to the judge. They're going to make you pay some kind of cash, okay? Same thing with God. Even though he died on the cross, yeah, he'll pardon certain things. But then... Um, but he got to see that you overcome being circumcised by heart because a lot of those people, like the rich man, he really did everything by the law. He had a lot of money. So he was, in his mind, he's like, oh, I'm rich. I am going to continue rent, uh, sin and do a bunch of offering. And that was the once saved, always saved. Same thing as Catholic, okay? Um God, basically, God said, this is, I didn't just set up, up this for you to continue sinning, but to un let you understand that there's a penalty for that, okay? And it is death, okay? And so um, he didn't understand the concept, and obviously he want to work in sin, want saved, always saved. And so he was not circumcised by heart, you guys. Um, so that's why, th that's the thing. Like, even if you can't uh, afford to do the burnt offering if God sees that you're genuine and want to turn from your wicked ways that is what he's trying to achieve that's what that's the whole mission in here is to overcome and be victorious but the thing is once you have the new body you're going to be set free okay I'm going to make another video I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make the video here um when you have the new incorruptible body okay you are going to be set free from the laws why do I not no, what what I mean by set free from the law, where it talks about one Corinthian, the the sting the sting of death is in the law. This is what God means, okay? Because we're in a corruptible nature, we have to feed ourselves, clothe ourselves, house ourselves, and then and, uh, and then we have to have a partner, okay? It, it, and and it, it causes a lot of problem. But when with this new body, when we say God says um, we won't feel the sting of death, which is we will hungry and thirst no more, means we won't feel pain. So serving God is like air, right? So if I'm not hungry, I am not obligated to go to work to buy food or a plate or a knife or cutting boards. Um, I will need a table or a chair because I won't be eating. And, and the, those things are going not going to be necessary. It's just going to be decoration when you have the new body, right? So what happened is, you know, um, if I, if I, if I'm like the angel, so I saw this in all my, I, all my dreams, a lot of dreams, right? I was able to transform. So I don't need any kind of clothing I can transform. So that eliminates a lot of problem already, right? So, um, I can stay dry. I can breathe in the water. I can speak in Spanish. I, I am telepathic and I can read people's mind and I can see who's saved. And I can, like being an angel, you can do a lot of things, right? Like, uh, with my new rapture, I, I was even trying to like, I was able to like, uh, generate five, like, five more limbs on top of my five limb fingers like make 10 fingers right and it was something crazy like you know so we can generate a lot of limbs and, and things that we don't have right so what I'm trying to say is when you have this new body you don't need a car you don't need a title you don't need no gas and you're not subject to the system of stealing greedy lust because you are set to go that's what God's saying. Once you have this new body, you're set to go. You're not obligated to the system anymore to have to eat, feed yourself, clothe yourself, sexual immorality. There won't be no secretion, okay? There was no tears. There was no saliva. There was no blood. There was no cum or fluid. There was no secretion, okay? So the, the, the part of sexual immorality is even gone too. So you don't even need to marry nobody because you won't be sinning in that area. So... Why do people sin? Cheating, stealing, because they're too lazy to go to work, and stealing is much easier to get what they need, and uh, that's why there's so much problem, because people steal, because they need to comfort their body, right? But once we have this new body that don't need to, um, we already comfort, so we don't need to work. Uh, to have these things because our body is content. That is what uh, the Bible talks about in uh, 1 Corinthians with the incorruptible body. That the sting of death was in the law. That is what it's preferring to. Okay. 
once we don't have the sting of death, we're set free from the law, from just system. Because we're not going to be needing those things to sin in those area to be submitted to the system. The reason why uh, the, the, the rules are set up so people, uh, you know, like I, I buy this. And uh, somebody would want to steal it because they can't afford it. They're too lazy to go to work. Stealing it from me is easier so they can, you know, whatever. But when when everything is telepathic, do I even need a phone? I can transform and I can fly just like Jesus. He could be able to be in like 50 places at once. So you can be like that, like literally. Like I don't know how to explain to you, but I was able to like fly um, in time and out of time and so that's it for this video, you guys. Stay encouraged. The changing of our new body is coming.